says we are now on the loops for and for each section of for loops in PHP. Um, a loop is kind of just something that iterates through code. Which, um, in this case, it looks like we have a variable uh, leap, and then we're running leap until while it's less than this. And for every iteration, it's equal to leap plus four. And then we're going to print it out. So you see how it increases by four. Um, pretty standard. Same thing as a normal for loop, I'd say. Or like any other for loop, rather. Um, looks like it wants us to fill in the code. So for i. And then um, we need to bracket it off so it knows where to run the for loop essentially. And when you save and submit, you can see it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And because if it would increase by 2, when it increased by 2 and went to 11, it's not going to run it and print out 12. Cool. All right, writing your first for loop. You want it to write a for loop that increases by 10. So 4, and then uh, standard convention is i is equal to zero. Yes. Then we'll say while well, i is less than 100. I, oops. i is equal to i plus 10. And then in here. Echo out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and that should work just fine. So, for whatever reason, PHP is giving us an issue today. So we're going to refresh the page, and we're going to insert our code we just typed. Oh, so in this case, we forgot our cash money. Let's see if that's the issue. Let's refresh. And you can see now that it is, oh, it's We'll do less than or equal to, and that should get us to our money. So now it wants us to I'm just kind of see what's going on here. It gives us a little about when to use a for loop, when to use a while and do while. Now, in this next section, um, you can see that they're adding some CSS styling to it. Um, instead of just printing out these numbers and languages, it's styled so that it looks nicer. That's kind of cool. Uh, so check out the code and editor, see how the lang, the lang variable uh, takes on the each one by one, then echoes the elements of the page. So uh, you see how it's printing out, echoing out the HTML with it. So that's why you get the numbers right here. And it's going down. <laughs> and then on the onset, it's rem <coughs> removing it in the process. It's using a for each uh, loop. So, in this case, we are going to be fixing the for each loop here. Um, for each iterates through each of the items in the array here. And then have to close it and bam I'm learning PHP cool stuff um, I like for each loops it's uh, much easier if you're just gonna print out everything on line 8 there's an array called yard lines right up for each of the iterates through the array and echoes each element 
All right, so for each, uh, then we have to declare what we're going through. We're going to go through yard lines. Is it each is a keyword? Pass. Pass. And so we'll just say YL for yard lines. And then I should iterate through. Wait, echo touchdown. Oh no. You want to echo this. So echo. Echo YL. Bam. The 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. And that was four loops. Um, pretty quick stops, this PHP stuff. It's, um, very intuitive so far. It's uh, just have to now use a question or uh, cache money sign. So uh, next section we'll be doing while loops in PHP. Um, there's a little preview of what it will look like. Um, a little more um, CSS style going on with it. So see you next time for while loops.